Hey, boys and girls, good morning. Well, in math, we have been talking about putting things together and taking them away. How many all together? How many more? How many less? Okay, so that's something that we want to continue doing. If you have the little frogs that maybe you may have made, you could always get out your frogs and practice telling a story. Another cool thing was the day that I demonstrated how you can use your water bottles and you put five of them up and you get a straw and you pretend to be the big bad wolf and you blow some down. It's really fun. It's so cute, okay? That is another good thing. You're like, okay, I had five water bottles. How many do I have left? Because I'm the big bad wolf and I blew them down. So then you have maybe three left. Okay, you have three. I'm gonna be the big bad wolf and blow them down. Now how many are left? So that is a fun way also. Okay, so practice doing that. You can use, you can use whatever you have at your house. Remember, we can do pretend and pretend like we have things when really they're not. Good old Q-tips are great for that. They don't roll. They can be used for lots of things. We can use our imagination, okay? So another thing for us to remember is I had made little numbers and put them in some um, extra or used little plastic Easter eggs. These are great to use. Pull these back out if you did that. If not, find some around the house, some of the old or used plastic eggs. Take pieces of paper, write a number on them, family, or your little one can, and then put them in the egg. So when they open the egg, they don't know what number it's gonna be. But this one is number what? Two. So today we're gonna use our journal. Yeah, we're gonna use our journal. And you're gonna show me how you can write some numbers, okay? Families, we wanna just practice on numbers one through five. So get those five eggs or those five little pieces of paper, put them in a bag and let your child take them out one at a time. But we wanna make sure that we have lines on the paper. And you wanna skip, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Give them enough space where they have like five lines to write on. One, two, th this one has four. But this is something, I'm gonna have a number video of how to write the numbers. And when, when the song is going, that's what you're gonna do. Curve around and down and slide to the right. Curve around, down, slide to the right. Okay, so we're gonna practice our numbers. If we had number three, Curve around and around some more. Curve around and around some more. Uh, let's see, number one, go straight down. Uh, four, down, over, pick it up, down some more. Last one, down, around, and put on a hat, okay? We wanna practice these numbers on the front and back of one of our journal pages. So families, you're gonna to have to draw lines and I want them to be big numbers. Don't make them little, make them big, okay? So practice writing your numbers and do a little activity where you're practicing blowing water bottles down like you're the big bad wolf or using our frogs that you have at your house or butterflies that we've made to tell some of the story problems of some coming and some leaving and how many are left how many do we have now if some come together? Then the third thing is to not forget, I need you, the school needs you. We need to get on Math Shelf every day, friends, okay? Monday through Friday, we need to get on Math Shelf, okay? Now remember, um, I'm looking to see who's doing it, okay? And our school does too, our principal and our assistant principal, they all get online to see who's getting on Math Shelf. So it's super important that we all do it, okay guys? I know it's one more thing right now. We're like, ah, oh, five more weeks, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Make it a great day, bye.